That's what we study in that. It's called the Ark of the Covenant. Now, the Ark is not the Ark of Noah. Okay? It's a different Ark. Ark is actually just another word for chest, uh, uh, a trunk. And the Ark of the Covenant is what you see here uh, in the Holy of Holies. This is called the Holy Place. This is called the Holy of Holies or the Most Holy Place. Both terms are used in the Bible. The Most Holy Place and the Holy of Holies. And the tabernacle, friends, was constructed so that the Lord would be among His people. We already saw that last time. What? This one. The atonement cover was made of pure gold. Not wood overlaid with gold, but pure gold. Of course, it had to correspond to the size of the chest or the box or the truck. So it was also a two and a half cubits or 45 inches, and it was also one and a half cubits or 27 inches wide. It says there in verses 19 to 21 that two cherubim of pure gold. Again, these are pure gold would be probably arising from the slab of pure gold and that uh, they would be facing each other not looking up towards the heavens because it was a sign of reverence. In fact, it, they would be facing each other but their eyes would be directed downward. Why? A sign of respect to the one they're giving honor to, which is God. The two cherubim of pure gold their wings will be spread over the atonement cover, this cover which is, I said, pure gold, looking down. And God said in our account there in verse 22, He would be meeting Moses from, be from between the cherubim, above, around here, this area, so that area, between the cherubim. This lid, this cover, or atonement cover, is called the mercy seat. Why? Because this serves as the throne of God here, this area, and the lid is his footstool. I'll explain again later why it's called the mercy seat. So 